guess a really good time to vlog and talk because I'm just going on a casual drive to drive along the PCH because I managed to finish all my homework today. Everything that I needed to get done, I'm all caught up with. So I figured I'm just gonna drive around around sunset and appreciate the nature that I haven't seen in a very long time. I've been cooped up in my house for a little over a week at this point, only really going out for groceries, eggs, water, you know, stuff like that. But I haven't really like even just gone on a hike. So many people were able to actually like go hiking and stuff. I haven't gone on any hikes. But today I figured I just I need to leave my house and just go on a drive, listen to some flame music, and just talk to you guys. So, it's been a hot minute since we have caught up and talked. And there is so much to catch up on, I don't even know where to start, to be completely honest. But since this is a nursing school vlog, I feel like I should address that first and foremost. First of all, I made it to eighth quarter. And for us in my nursing school, we call that capstone slash practicum, where basically all the classes that I have to take this quarter, literally is only two classes. One of them is nursing leadership. And that class is honestly just prepping us to take the NCLEX. And then my practicum class is where we're supposed to be doing clinicals in the hospital basically working full-time shadowing a nurse supposedly on the unit that we were planning to apply to and work on in the future as you guys know with the whole coronavirus covid 19 situation life just kind of got put on the biggest hold that has ever happened in my personal experience and i feel like it's ironic and maybe fate in a way or god working in mysterious ways that I just happened to be on my last quarter of nursing school the second that this virus hits full force. So long story short, we get the notification once it's finals week of last quarter that pretty much all the finals were supposed to be just online and that we we're going to be taking our classes online for the next quarter. Of course, my cohort and my class specifically is out here freaking out because we're all wondering how are we supposed to take practicum? working in the hospital at home. It doesn't make any sense. So we were bombarding all of our teachers and all of the administration with just questions about what is gonna happen to our class specifically. So we're just really confused at this point, really nervous for ourselves and my camera slowly sliding down. Spring break comes and goes and we get no notifications about what we're really gonna be doing until about three days before the quarter is supposed to start, we get an email saying we're gonna have a huge Zoom class to discuss what's really gonna be going on. Once the Zoom class commences, we discovered that clinicals have been canceled for the entire hospital that we're supposed to be doing clinicals at, which means our class can't start clinicals, which is exactly what the class is. So they're giving us options. They're saying, you know, you guys might just have to take all your clinicals over summer. You guys might just have to take it incomplete if clinicals are allowed to start up in the middle of the quarter or something. They're just trying to give us all the possible options. And all of us are here like, this is literally our last quarter of nursing school. We are done. We are all done. Okay, I feel like I'm getting a little heated. I need to calm down. <clears throat> so they say that we can't finish clinicals out and that they're still petitioning and all of our teachers are still trying to get the administration of the hospital to allow students to finish clinicals out because especially for our quarter being in the last quarter before we graduate, this hinders everybody's plans for the future if we're not able to finish the class by June, which is when we're supposed to be walking and getting our diploma. Another thing, side note, they obviously canceled our graduation. Another huge bummer because I did not work four long years in college, busting my in nursing school for them to tell me that I can't walk with a diploma and turn my tassel over. I was really upset for a long time after hearing that news, but again, with this whole situation, it's not exactly something I can fight, and I'm not gonna fight it. Like, there's no point for me to argue against the administration and what's going on. This virus is serious, people are dying, people are very sick, and it's, I'm not saying that it's not serious, but I'm also not claiming that it's not affecting lives, namely students at this point, especially in 
our situation. But moving on, they're trying to lessen the clinical hours that we have to take for the class. They are trying to give us alternative simulation hours to make up for the clinical hours because with my class in specific, I need 144 clinical hours to actually complete the class and to get my degree. But with clinicals canceled, now I just have 144 hours that I cannot complete. That was definitely tricky and for them to say simulation, but without us actually going to the simulation lab at school because school is closed as well, was really confusing. Slowly but surely, the hospital's been allowing students to come back to clinicals. The only thing is that I've been hearing from a strong majority of my friends in my class and in my cohort that they have already gotten placement as for the units that they're going to be doing clinicals on. I would actually say like 75% of my class has already started clinicals. One of my best friends, Naomi, luckily enough, she's got her placement on PICU, the pediatric ICU unit, and she's been doing knock shifts for clinicals there, and she's been loving it and having a great experience. The teacher has been emailing me, unfortunately, and I am one of the lucky few within the class that still hasn't gotten placement and hasn't been told where I'm gonna be able to finish up my clinicals and when I'm gonna be able to finish up my clinicals. So I might be one of the few that might have to extend my clinical hours into summer. I have no clue at this point. It's just really foggy as for the plans for myself. But because of that, I'm, I'm really not stressed out as much because I also understand that I am not exactly in the most difficult situation when it comes to stuff like that because a lot of people in my class already have kids, have families, they've been waiting for jobs to open up over summer when we're supposed to graduate, but I, I'm i really uncertain where my future is going to be going after I graduate, which is a good and bad thing, and I guess in this way it's an okay situation to be in because I am personally in no rush to complete my clinicals. As much as I would love to be able to finish on time and love to just get it over with, I also don't really have much of a conflict if I did have to get pushed into the summer to finish off my clinicals. So in all honesty, I can't really complain too much. I'm just trying to finish up my homework and get all my work done. Another life update, I'm still working at the hospital, but very, very minimally. As a student that got hired into the hospital as a PCA, unfortunately, the hospital right now has been having a really low census. And low census basically means that there just aren't enough patients for us to work there. If there's less patients, that's less patients that I have to sit for, and they don't need as many PCAs on the units to help out if there's not as many patients to take care of. So I actually, no matter how many times I've scheduled myself to work, a lot of the times they'll call me and tell me that I don't need to come in because they're full, like staffing wise. I'm trying to work as much as possible because now I have a lot of free time on my hands, but there's, the opportunity just isn't there. Luckily enough, I am lucky in this situation with the virus going around that I still have a job and I'm still getting paid for the work that I'm doing. I am very fortunate for that. As much as this virus has been throwing a huge wrench into my life plan and like things that I've been working on for a really long time, in my head I'm always remembering to stay grateful for what I do have and the life that I've been given and the opportunities that I have at the moment because at the end of the day, in all honesty, as bad as it is, it could always be worse. And I feel like this is especially a good time to start reflecting on life itself and what we've been doing up until now and what you should be thankful for and grateful for in the moment because just like that, it happened in the span of weeks, life just turned itself completely upside down and everyone's just having to figure out how to adjust to it. And it's hard, it's, it's definitely difficult and I'm not undermining that fact, but hey, this is the world that we're living in right now and this is all that we can do. So that's pretty much a quick summary of my life. If you guys wanna know what I've been doing the last three weeks other than school and homework, it's so great. I feel like a kid again in some ways because I'm getting back to all the things that I used to love doing when I was still in middle school and high school and it's, it's fun. It, it really is fun and I, I'm honestly in a good place right now. I haven't been able to work on very many ceramic stuff or pottery things because quite frankly the studio at my old school is closed and my wheel at home is broken. I got the parts to fix it but me and my dad can't figure out how to so that's still something that we're working on. 
But other than that, hey, honestly, as bad as the situation is, I'm still very grateful. I'm grateful for you guys watching this vlog, for keeping up, and I'm sorry that I'm posting content from months ago at this point, but I hope you guys can bear in mind like the situation is just really tricky and especially with last quarter being so busy and confusing and hectic. Editing videos just became kind of a back burner task for me to do, so I'm getting around to them now. All in all, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for watching my vlog. I truly appreciate all the support and all of you that have kept up with me up until this point because, man, technically speaking, I'm supposed to be graduating in about two months and that's insane. I hope you guys are staying safe at home, keeping yourselves motivated through whatever it is you guys are working on and, you know, just doing well. That's all I can really hope for and pray for, so... <laughs> That's such a cheesy ending, I don't even know what to say. Juices, y'all. <laughs>